Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Melo and I am back with another video about a new game release on Linux. This time it's about Left 4 Dead 2. It's a first person shooter from Valve um, set up in a post-apocalypse zombie-like scenario. Uh, there's uh, some random disease that infects people, turning them into dangerous zombies and you are one of four survivors uh, yeah, struggling to survive. Um, this game was released originally in 2009 and is now, since last week, available on Linux. So it's out of closed beta, uh, available to the public, available to everyone who is already owning the game. If you do not own the game already, uh, yeah, you missed out the special weekend sale just last weekend. You were able to play the game for free the entire weekend. It also purchases purchase it with a 75% discount. So maybe you own the game already and are wondering if you could play it on Linux. Or maybe you are wondering if you should get this game and if it's worth your money. So let's go check it out. We start the game. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about this game. Basically it's a cooperative first-person shooter. Um, you can play it with up to three friends, so four in total. And you can say here you can play the campaign, a cooperative campaign online with random people or with your friends. And you can play different versus modes and so on. Um, let's have a look at our settings first. The video settings are probably what you're most interested in. I basically let the game choose the recommended settings and just adjusted the resolution. So these are my settings. Uh, it's not all cranked out to the max. Uh, I'm running a quad-core processor from AMD with 3.4 GHz and using a GeForce GTX 460 graphics card with the proprietary NVIDIA driver in version 313, I think. So, let's demonstrate a little bit of gameplay. I start the campaign, the first campaign, first level. Difficulty normal, uh, random character, that's okay. There are these are the four characters you can choose from. There's not really much story about it. It's like in a good old zombie movie. They don't have much story as well. There's some random disease turning friendly people into zombies and you're one of four survivors. Uh, struggling to get the hell out of this uh, mess and the game basically starts exactly like this you're on top of a mall uh, hoping to get away with a helicopter but yeah they kinda leave before you had a chance to get on the helicopter that's how the game starts and now the only yeah the only target or the only goal in this game is to survive so that's pretty straightforward. And these are the characters, they have a name. Every once in a while they talk a little bit, tell a bit about themselves. Nothing too special from a storytelling perspective. So why could this game be fun to you? It is very fun if you play it in co-op with three of your friends. So if you have a four people party, it's really enjoyable because the zombies in this game are not dumb and they are not slow but they are really fast and they outnumber you in a ridiculously insane way. So it, it has a very frantic game style. Let me show you. That's how the game starts. There are no tutorials, nothing at all. You just get down, open the first door. And the party gets started. And basically it's well, a lot of learning by doing. Um, the game has a really fast progression. It's not like they're introducing you uh, to new concepts, new categories of opponents. Uh, you just learn them the hard way. I guess that's what the developers were thinking. So you have this standard infected. Reloaded. These zombies, they are called infected and left for dead. And then there are different kinds, like jockeys. This is a special kind of uh, zombie that can jump on your head. It's very fast, very difficult to hit. 
Yeah, that's the one. He just got me. And that's already showing the interesting part about this game. It's really a cooperative shooter uh, in that there are a lot of, of special infected that uh, attack you and when you get attacked by them you are actually defenseless and you are... Yeah, you definitely need help from one of your um, fo fellow survivors. So team play is absolutely key for surviving in this game. Uh, game speed is very high and this is what makes the game so addictive. Um, it also has a very high difficulty level. There are four settings you can choose from, like easy, normal, advanced and expert. Uh, and also a realism mode you can switch on. Um, you can see for example these pistols have an unlimited amount of ammunition or other weapons have not. Uh, you can carry only a limited amount of items with you uh, like this first aid kit, a throwable weapon um, and pills or adrenaline which will give you a temporary life boost and an increased vision that helps you and oh, this is another special infected, the charger. Again, uh, you could see I was defenseless and the only way to survive was to getting help by the other survivors. So, yeah, that's really key here. Man, I get on all of them on my head. Team play is key, <laughs> as I was saying. So, yeah, really fun game. As you can see uh, in the bottom right corner I have uh, the frames per second capped at 60. That's because I have uh, vertical sync activated. So, Oh, that's a boomer, the fat guy who explodes. He shouldn't explode on top of you because he will cover you in boomer bile which attracts other infected. As I was saying, um, performance is yeah just perfect. There are no issues here. You can Play it with very real, really high settings. The game looks uh, pretty decent and also really bloody. So, yeah, I will definitely rate this content mature on YouTube. <laughs> um, not a jockey. This time, we really did better than last time. This was another special effect with the spitter. He spits acid on the ground. So, you can see it's not just zombies, the uh, developers have been quite creative. Uh, uh, with uh, creating this special infected which uh, needs to be fought against with different strategies and again it's impossible to to make it on your own team play is absolutely key to make it through the level so let me tell you something about the downside there are bugs um, but it's really hard for me to show them to you because I don't know how to reproduce them Generally, it's about two bugs. One bug is that the game just crashes. It just quits to the desktop. And apparently that's not the Linux only problem, but it's also affecting the other platforms. Apparently it's also happening on with my friends uh, on, on their Windows machines. Oh, yeah. You remember I was telling you that you get seriously outnumbered? Yeah, I wasn't lying, as you can see. Um, and that's one bug, but it's not platform specific, so it's not Linux fault if you want to say so. The other bug is your frame rate dropping from what I have here, 60 frames per second to down to 10 frames per second without any apparent reason. This bug, I don't know how it, uh, how it happens, why it happens. I cannot reproduce it reliably. Uh, but it is there, so it could happen while get playing that your frame rates drop to 10 frames per second. Uh, you basically can't play the game at that low of a frame rate. Um, thing is, you just can't ex exit to main menu and reconnect really fast. Um, a bot will take over your survivor uh, as long as you are out of the game, and as soon as you reconnect, you just uh, get one of the bots place and are back with your friends fighting your way through zombies. So these are the two bugs known to me. Um, but uh, the good thing is that these bugs are happen on a really rare occasion. I have spent several hours playing this game without any issue at all. 
um, just playing through the campaign with my friends, enjoying uh, the intense, dark, uh, really brutal atmosphere, and yeah, seeing the progression as a team because you really have to be a team uh, in this game, one using a shotgun, the other one using a sniper rifle, the other one using a machine gun, healing each other, um, reviving you each other with uh, a defib unit, stuff like that. So really fun, uh, really brightened up my weekend. So I think that's enough gameplay content. Uh, I hope you could get an idea about this game. Uh, the Linux port is very good, I think. Um, the performance is good. You can minimize the game without any issues and bring it back up. That's working all fine. So, window management isn't a problem. Um, and I know other Linux ports are out there that have problems with this specific case. But not left for the two, as with Half-Life 2, minimizing, maximizing the game isn't a problem at all. So you can tap out, start TeamSpeak, tap back in when connecting with your friends, for instance. That's not a problem. You saw the performance is also really nice, so it's definitely enjoyable. Um, Steam Cloud syncing your save games, everything, your achievements, everything working as you would expect to. So, to sum things up, the Linux version of the game is in really good shape already. As mentioned, there are these two bugs. They happen on really rare occasions, but they do exist. Uh, we can hope that they get fixed. But all in all, it's it's a game that it's definitely worth your money if you like cooperative first-person shooter games. I think it's one of the best co-op shooters out there. So, thanks for watching. That's all for now. And I hope to see you all next time.